Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, brethren all over the world. Matthew chapter 12, verse 40. Watch this. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the well's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now, what we want to do here is we want to get something clear. As Jonah was three days and three nights in the well's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. You know, when Jonah was in the well's belly, it was not for his destruction. Perhaps God knew the only way that I'm going to get this guy to go to Nineveh and save them is I've got to place him in an area for at least three days and three nights. What are your thoughts on that? Huh? Because guess what? After the three days and the three nights, that whale vomited Jonah onto the land of Nineveh. And Nineveh turned to the Lord, repented in sackcloth and ashes. I'm talking about they had a brand new life, even to the top government officials on down to the animals. And when Jesus Christ rose from the dead, got up out of the grave of hell, out of there, it resulted in millions of people being saved and they're continuing to be saved today because of the heart of the earth experience. If you want to be great in God's kingdom, learn to be the servant of all and get prepared to fellowship in the sufferings of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you go through that, right, you can rejoice. Why? Because you are about to pound hell in such ferocity that there's going to be life that comes from this tremendous pain that is necessary and suffering for you, whatever it is. And it's the Lord, right, that has ordained this, but it's not the end. You may be in a pit right now. You may be in suffering right now. And you're thinking, man, when is this going to end? Can I tell you, it's going to end at the end of the third day. Watch this, three days and three nights. But you're getting up in the daytime, all right? It's going to end at the end of the third day. You know, a lot of you are going through something right now. And I want to just give you an encouragement today. No matter how many days uh, that you've been in uh, this tribulation, this trial, maybe some of you've lost your jobs and, and different things like that. It, 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 you may have been like, CJ, what are you talking about? Third day. This is the 45th day I've been out of a job. This is the 90th day I've been out of a job. No, 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 no. Watch this. They can't keep a God man down. Watch this. As Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, very dark place, very scary. So shall the Son of Man three, be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. But they're not staying there. God men don't stay in caves. God men don't stay in hell. God men don't stay there. They get up out of there on the third day. Hallelujah. On the third day, they get up. All right? You understand? It's called resurrection. And you're not going to be recognizable. When you come through this, the glory of God that is going to rest on you, people are going to recognize you because the glory of the Lord will be resting upon you in such a mighty way. Those that didn't respect you will respect you. Those that wrote you off won't write you off. It's all about making sure that you rejoice. Remember, rejoice always. And again, I say rejoice. Remember the Holy Spirit told us that? So rejoice while you're there because you're not going back. Thank God that you were counted worthy 
to suffer shame for his name. All right. Yeah, you know what happens when you start praising God in the midst of difficult circumstances. The same thing that happened to Peter. The same thing that happened to Paul and Silas. The same thing that happens to every born again child of God who defies carnal logic. Listen, defy carnal logic. And instead of being sad in the pain, rejoice. See what happens for you. Peter got let out of jail. Paul and Silas, uh, the foundations of the prison shook. Somebody got saved. All right. Let's see what happens when you start praising the Lord. Huh? Oh, man, that's going to be awesome. Listen, I believe in you. God believes in you. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.